I'm Ryan. Today, Scottsdale RV. We're presenting a 2004 Gulfstream Friendship 8408 model, four slides, full body paint, 400 horsepower Cummins ISL diesel engine, sitting on a Freightliner chassis. We've got brand new tires, 22 and a half inch tires all the way around. We we'll start right at the back corner here. We've got nice, easy access to get out and check your air filter or replace it. The second compartment up, we've got a couple battery disconnects, a bunch of fuses and relays. Chassis batteries and house, six volt house batteries in this compartment. Once again, 22 and a half inch aluminum wheels with brand new tires all the way around, six tires. You got your washer dryer vent, furnace exhaust. Right here, you've got a Gulfstream uh, exclusive manifold system. You can turn, supply water to different appliances or disconnect it for winterizing purposes or if you had a leak. Um, you've got your low point drains, ever pure water filter and also your uh, uh, hookup for your fresh water fill or a local supply. As we move forward, you've got full pass-through storage, carpeted storage bays. You can see the hydraulic pump in the middle of the coach and the water heater on the other side. Outside here, you've got an entertainment cabinet. You can hook up an exterior TV right here. You've got fuel fill, nice patio awning above us, four slide awnings and the patio awning all in excellent shape, door awning, dual electric step, you've got power heated mirrors, top and bottom power. Up front, you've got your own and 7500 watt quiet diesel generator. Windshields are full, free of any cracks or large chips. As we move around to the driver's side, you've got chassis uh, relays and fuses right up front here, nice and easy to access. Two window awnings on this side, just pull down window awnings. You've got large propane tank and fill in the first compartment behind the driver's wheel. The other side of the pass-through storage, nice large carpet pass-through storage. You've got your gas electric water heater. You've also got a second furnace. So two furnaces on this coach to really, really help with the heating. You've got your fresh water tank, goes through to the other side as well. Outside water compartment, you've got an exterior shower, city water connection. You've got your drain valves, black and gray. Over, over here, you've got your black tank flush, as well as your gray tank flush, and you've got a light for the compartment. As we walk to the rear, on the driver's side, you've got your Zantrex 2000 watt inverter charger. You've got your built-in 50 amp power cord. A nice feature on this coach is the side radiator. It really helps cool a lot better than a rear radiator. It makes it a lot, the engine a lot more accessible too when you don't have the radiator right across here. In the rear, we've got the nice full-length Gulfstream mud flap here, hidden hitch, 10,000 pound hitch receiver with your electrical plug-in for your trailer, chrome exhaust tip, rear ladder, backup camera up top. Inside, you've got your fuel, fuel water separator, coolant tank and coolant fill, transmission oil check, your engine oil dipstick, or sorry, engine oil fill and your engine oil dipstick. Once again, Cummins 400 horsepower ISL turbo diesel engine. Well that wraps up our video tour outside, let's head on inside and check out the rest. Welcome to the inside of this 2004 Gulfstream Friendship 8408, uh, quad slide, four slide, 400 horsepower. We're sorry, right up at the captain's area, you've got ultra leather captain's and co-captain's chair, power captain's chair. As we move into the driver controls, you've got your uh, power mirror for the bottom and power mirror for the top with heat. Your air park brake. You've got a two-stage engine brake, so you've got low and high. Six-speed Allison transmission shifter. Heated and cooled beverage cup holder. You've got your Dewald hydraulic leveling jack system. You've got a Freightliner chassis, so you've got automatic for the suspension air, and then you can dump the air by going to lower. Up top, we've got your wiper washer control, headlight control, this is your dimmer for your dash. We've got your Sony AM FM CD radio, air horn, your cruise and your bright are all on the turn signal stick. You push this lever for telesp telescopic and you pull it for tilt. You can start and stop the generator right here, dash AC, you've got a 12 volt power plug. Battery boost, you've got ICC flasher, fog lights, switch right here, cigarette lighter, 
dash radio switch to operate it on your house or chassis batteries, recirculating dash fan switch, step cover for the passenger so their feet aren't dangling while driving down the road, your air horn switch, and then your utility light switch. As we move up top, we've got your Weldex backup monitor. Inside here, you've got your Xantrex 2000 watt inverter charger panel. We've got Sony front TV. As we move around towards the kitchen area, up top here, we've got your DVD surround sound system, your switch box. Below, we've got the Euro chair recliner with footstool. We walk past you here. Tile, ceramic tile throughout the kitchen and bath area, solid surface countertops, we got removable sink covers, full out kitchen faucet, filtered water dispenser. As you can see, this coach has the upgraded white cabinetry throughout. You've got a ceiling accent, um, rope lights throughout the coach as well. Removable burner covers, two recessed burners, We've got a convection microwave, Towards the rear of the kitchen, we've got our level gauge, our gas water heater switch, water pump switch, and your front two slide switches. On the driver's side, we've got your sleeper sofa, queen size hide a bed. We got your freestanding dinette with two chairs, solid surface tabletop on the on the dinette, curio cabinet, wine bottle rack back here. We got your Norcold four door refrigerator, your built in ice maker. with accent panels that match the rest of the coach. You've got a privacy door separating the kitchen area from the bath area. You've got a Durotherm AC control. Glass shower enclosure with skylight. Vanity station and medicine cabinet right behind that. Your private water closet. It's across the hall. Behind the French door, you've got your Splendy 2000 washer dryer combo with storage above it. So we come into the bedroom area, you've got your seating area, underneath the chair footstool pulls out with storage inside the footstool, we've got a vanity station with stool built in, queen size bed, rear bedroom TV, all your manuals, sunshades are right here, a lot of people put shoes and other small items in there as well. Plenty of closet storage in the rear, full length closet storage, and you've got, I believe, two fold up chairs in the back corner. Soft touch vinyl ceiling, you've got your rear AC, the control is actually on the far wall along with your two slide switches for the bedroom. Day night shades throughout and carpeted balances. Well that wraps up our video tour, we hope, to, hope you enjoyed it and we hope to hear from you soon. We're going to do another quick walkthrough. Thanks.